carbon dioxide is increasing in the atmosphere. The ocean is getting warmer, the air is getting warmer. Um, precipitation patterns are changing, patterns of ocean circulation are changing, the very chemistry of the ocean itself is changing. And so all of these are uh, things that we need to measure, we need to understand, and then we can look and see what kind of impacts they might have. people. I think scientists are among the world's worst communicators <laughs> about what we do. We right. speak in jargon yes. and we publish in journals that few people read. Right. But what, what, what's become more apparent now is that the aquarium can serve as a conduit to get those messages to the public about the fascinating, wonderful work that's going on. put together a small grants program. It's seed money for people to put in, a, they put in a proposal following the Mentored Online course to either develop a communications program around bleaching, uh, uh, to uh, build bleaching into the management plans of areas they work, or resilience into the management plans of where they work, or to prepare an uh, early action plan for a bleaching event should it happen. They put in a proposal and they'll get some seed money to to take it forward and that enables them then to take that learning forward and implement it in their real life situation and take it on beyond that it's the foundation for the Some approaches attempt to attract birds to areas so they can breed. They have decoys, for example, or they can have sounds of uh, adults displaying um, to attract new birds to breed. In other situations, the approach is more, uh, more uh, intensive and it actually entails moving young chicks um, that are hand-fed, fostered, and then they will leave and hopefully they will return back. Uh, the uh, military is very kindly um, supporting a project where we bring these eggs that um, would otherwise be destroyed to James Campbell and then a, a, a valiant corps of uh, volunteers hand feed the babies until they fledge and we hope that they'll come back in six or seven years to James Campbell. This is all of us working together to face a really serious challenge to make sure our kids and the next generations have, have a world and resources to live with.